will discuss about the properties of the system any condition of the system is called state of the system the state of the system is specified by the characteristic of the system any characteristic of the system is called properties of the system properties of the system are mainly of two types intensive properties or say intrinsic properties second one is extensive properties or extrinsic properties intensive properties are independent of mass but extensive properties are depend on mass if we take some example of intensive properties these are pressure temperature density volume and extensive properties are volume enthalpy energy but remember one thing is all specific properties of the system is called intensive properties but to get confused with density density is equal to m by v let's take example of example for the density of the system suppose your mother is preparing our dates for you and you are studying in your room suppose you are listening my lecture at that time your mother calls you and says please take taste the dish but you say momo i am studying so i cannot come your mom will come with a dish on about it amount will be 100 gram but you taste only 10 grams after that the reaction is more salt is less or anything is less then total amount of the this is 200 gram or to be your mom come mom come with 100 gram but you taste only 10 gram you and you say that mom salt is less you describe about the whole of the system so density does not depend upon the mass and same as for velocity extensive properties in which volume enthalpy energy let take one another example of intensive property that is pressure if you want to measure a pressure in this container then you can measure pressure by pressure gauge by attaching ear or ear if we divide this container in container into two parts then pressure will also remain same pressure will also remain same so there is no effect of mass on the pressure measurement but if we take extensive property that is volume now if we measure the volume of the system suppose it will be of 200 ml suppose it is liquid and if you divide into two parts then there is 100 ml and there is 100 ml so extensive properties are depend on mass but all specific properties are intensive properties so it does not depend on mass because all intensive properties we calculate per kg so all specific properties are independent of mass thank you